Hey guys, welcome back to Scotch and Cinema. You know the deal, I drink scotch and talk about movies. Come to you today drinking this Glenmore 10 year, aged in casks of Chardonnay. That's wine. It's got a pretty prominent bittersweet aftertaste that I'm not too fond of and it really leaves me wondering, do I want another glass? I'm not so sure. Wine and whiskey, coming together to form something that, while familiar, is just not quite what I'm looking for. How fitting that this would be the beverage of choice for today's movie topic, the Jungle Book. I was quite excited to go see this film, and in 3D no less, for a variety of reasons. I'm not normally a fan of 3D as I see the format as a bit of a gimmick, but I decided for Jungle Book to make an exception. I have to hand it to Disney on set design. It was beautifully done. I could really feel the presence of the jungle there on screen, almost as if it was a separate character. Unfortunately, it was one of the better characters of the film. Neil Sethi, despite an awesome name, was disappointing as Mowgli, and though I understand he is a child actor, he was visually annoying with his overacted running style. Start to get down. <laughs> ben Kingsley as Bagheera did not impress, and although I'm quite a fan, Bill Murray was only average as Baloo. Everyone's favorite meth king, Gustavo Fring, showed up as the noble Akira and quickly followed his shtick of getting murdered by an asshole. <laughs> Ka, played by the lasciviously voiced Scarlett Johansson, has one of the better scenes of the movie, despite a cheesy voice misdirection bit, and Christopher Walken is hilarious as King Louis, although his scat singing leaves a little bit to be desired. Hey! You're talking to my guy all wrong. It's wrong tone. Do it again. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. By far, my favorite character and performance was Idris Elba's Sheer Khan. His passion, coupled with Mowgli's annoyingness, quickly compelled me to root for the tiger. Idris's talent really carried the movie for me, and I found myself waiting impatiently for him to appear on screen again. Nostalgia played a large role in my consideration of this film, as I'm a big fan of the Disney original work. I had high expectations and high hopes, but much like while drinking the scotch, I found myself thinking, Is this bad? I wanted this to be great. I really did. But unfortunately, I have to give it a rating of a paltry two out of four glasses. And one of those belongs mostly to Mr. Elba. A short video just to say to you, thank you. No problem, Idris. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in to this edition of Scotch and Cinema. And as always, bottoms up. <laughs>